In the wake of the recent alien incident in Las Vegas, a wave of chilling encounters and mysterious sightings have emerged, both new and old. What did you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long testing top. I'm not gonna BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yes. why I'm kind of curious. Did you, you see anything you land see. in your backyard? Or? They see like a big, that's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something. The attempts to suppress these reports have only spurred more individuals to share their experiences. On April 29th, 2023, a dairy farmer from rural Texas shared a disturbing image with his daughter, Lorinda. She later uploaded it to the internet, seeking advice. The farmer, living alone in an old wooden farmhouse outside of Austin, was surrounded by fields and dairy machinery. Despite the hustle and bustle during the day, his only companion at night was a rescued German shepherd puppy. On that fateful night, he was awakened by unusual noises around 10.30 p.m. Given the recent explosion that had killed thousands of cattle and the subsequent fires, Farmers in the area were on high alert. He ventured outside and spotted a pale figure approaching the cow pens. The creature, towering over the animals, seemed to be inspecting the sleeping cattle. Strangely, the cows remained undisturbed. His dog, however, was immediately alert and growled at the creature's presence, which was unusual for the usually friendly pup. The farmer felt a sense of numbness rather than fear paralyzed for a moment before rushing back into the house to grab his phone. He called Lorinda, who in turn requested a welfare check from the sheriff's department. The photo he took while waiting for the police has been repeatedly banned from a popular social media platform. The image, although grainy due to the darkness and the quality of his phone, clearly shows a non-human entity. It appears to have thin, pale skin, large black eyes, and abnormally long arms. Lorinda confirmed that her father, an old-fashioned, no-nonsense man grounded in reality, was not one to fabricate such a story. She also pointed out that he was not tech-savvy enough to manipulate images. When the Austin Police Department arrived an hour later, they dismissed the incident, suggesting the elderly man was unfit to live alone. However, a closer look at the responding officer's body cam footage reveals an odd reflection a tall beam contrasting the moonless night. Despite this, the farmer refused to leave his home of nearly 40 years. As a compromise, he agreed to install a security system, which Lorinda now regularly monitors. Since then, no further odd occurrences have been reported. In the tranquil suburbs of Sleepy Hollow, Amarillo, Texas, residents reported witnessing a series of unusual objects shimmering in a variety of colors against the night sky. While the news spread rapidly within the local community, and many residents claimed to have seen this phenomenon, there was one couple whose story was met with skepticism. For the purpose of this narrative, we will refer to them as David and Stacy. This couple, newly married and recently relocated from Washington, were warmly welcomed by their neighbors. They had chosen this location for its proximity to family and its peaceful ambience, ideal for settling down and starting a family. However, their first week was marked by a lightning storm, an ominous start to their new chapter. On a Wednesday night, while Chris was working late as a veterinary assistant, he received a distressing call from Stacy. She reported that two strange men were in their backyard. Her description was vague but she mentioned that they were unusually tall, unclothed, pale, and their behavior was odd. Chris instructed her to call the police immediately, and he then rushed home. When Chris arrived, the street was eerily quiet. There were no police cars in sight, and he found Stacy anxiously waiting near the front door. She informed him that the strange men were still at the back of the house. Determined to protect his wife, Chris went to confront them and found two beings examining their patio furniture. Upon seeing Chris, the beings froze, akin to a deer caught in headlights, before quickly regaining their composure and fleeing. The couple was unable to explain how the beings escaped or where they went. Fortunately, an officer from the Amarillo Police Department arrived within 10 minutes and patrolled the house. However, the officer found no evidence to corroborate the couple's claims. 
The intensifying lightning storm limited their search outside. The officer apologized for not being able to alleviate their concerns, but assured them that he would remain in the vicinity and instructed them to call the station if anything else occurred. Shortly after the officer left, the couple claimed to see the mysterious beings reappear in their yard. They seemed to be searching for something. That was the last thing David and Stacy remembered before waking up the next morning to find their home ransacked and all windows broken. They had no recollection of any noises or even falling asleep the previous night. Their memory of what happened after the second sighting was blank. The Amarillo Police Department received a report of a break in the next morning. While the lightning storm could explain the broken windows, the chaos inside the house was inexplicable. The couple insisted that the strange beings were responsible, but their claims were largely dismissed by the community. When questioned by reporters, Stacy speculated that the community's rejection might stem from fear of the entities or the potential influx of government investigators. Despite the disbelief, David noticed a sense of unease among his neighbors. His memory of the second encounter was hazy, and he was constantly worried about the otherworldly invaders returning. He installed security cameras around their house and encouraged his neighbors to do the same. Despite the rocky start to their new life, David and Stacy remained firm in their decision to not move and were determined not to let this incident deter them from their new home. Trans medium vehicles. And I obtained, as a journalist, I obtained and released some of this historic footage with my mentor in journalism, George Knapp, and this has now, as you said, been directly confirmed by the Pentagon. So that is significant in and of itself, how quickly they confirmed that these reports are contained within their educational uh, briefings for, mm. for individuals what, what, in the military. What's a trans medium vehicle? Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. That's not an LNS though, is it? It's not. That is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's a Look at that thing. It's rotating. This appeared on the side of the mountain. This green orb shows up on the side of the mountain in a lower spot. The next picture we take, this is what happened to the vertical sphere in the sky. Something flew inside of it and pulled it out of shape. You see these two little, I don't know, there's like two little wings out there. And we like looked at that and I